What's going on, guys? It's uh, Brian Paul, and I'm playing Dead Effect 2. This game just popped up on the PlayStation Store today, and uh, I had to give it a shot. It's like 12 or $13, and um, oh boy, it is it is interesting to say the least. Uh, yet yeah, no no new PlayStation VR games, uh, so I got to do something. These character models are just phenomenal. So, this game's all about killing zombies. Um, but man, oh man, do they really try to make it more than that. So I have to go talk to somebody before I can actually accept the mission. Yep. Uh, voice acting is just horrible. Um, in fact, I just try to skip through it as much of this as I possibly can. Yep. Because don't get me wrong, like... <laughs> it's kind of cool to have this... I, I downloaded this game thinking that it was going to be, you know, a mindless shooter. And to an extent, it is. Uh, but they did as much as they possibly could to, to to make it more than just a stupid shooter. So, let's just try to dive right in here. Now that we talked to him, we can probably select our mission here. Alright. Uh, and as you can see, the Dead Effect 2 logo looks eerily similar to Dead Space 2. It's obviously just such a rip-off. Um, it's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, this was, this was on the store today, and I really just, instead of just waiting for PlayStation VR games to show up, I figured I'd play something that was, um, that no one else is probably covering. That was sort of the goal. The other characters in this game just talk incessantly, and it's real, it's real old real fast. Um, like I said, I just tune them out completely. I'm just holding down the X button here. Uh, I'm not even doing anything. Whoa. Feel they slowed them all down. Let's just throw a grenade out there, take care of a few of these guys. Alright, uh, now maybe I'm going through PlayStation VR with Jarls, uh, but I'm actually playing this game with my VR headset on. Uh, and I gotta say that it actually looks a whole lot better with the headset on in cinema mode than it does just on my standard television because I was playing it on my standard television for quite a while um, probably an hour or so I was just kind of disappointed with the way it looked because uh, as you can see like the graphics aren't amazing they are okay at best I'd say this would be halfway decent for a last generation game The description on the store advertised it as, you know, stunning graphics or something along those lines. And, uh, you can see that is not the case. But again, this is definitely a budget title. I, I don't know where Dead Effect 1 uh, is. <laughs> I'd never heard of it. Although, there is a part of me that makes me wonder if it was like uh, an iOS or Android game. Uh, mobile game, and then they decided to branch out for the sequel. I don't know. I don't really know. But uh, I would say with the he with the VR headset on, with the cinema mode, uh, maybe it's just because it's all like right there in your face, and it feels like I'm in a movie theater. But whatever it is, 
Certainly makes this game look better than it does on on the flat screen. Um, I really wish it was 60 frames a second. I think that would have drawn me in so much more. But whatever it's running at right now does not feel very good. But shooting zombies is always fun, so I will give them that. They're giving me exactly what I wanted for the low, low price of $13. This is fun. Just keep hitting X. It's like the dumbest minigame ever, or the dumbest quick time event ever. It's like a, something I should have been playing on in God of War on the PlayStation 2. Uh, but if you just want to kill some zombies, I mean, there are certainly worse things you could be doing with your time. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. There is absolutely an upgrade system. Uh, you can choose all these special abilities. You can choose to um, upgrade seemingly every element of your of your character. There's three characters to choose from. I chose just the default first one that they had already selected for me. Uh, the other ones uh, seem... I was expecting that they would play a lot differently because this guy uses mostly guns and uh, the other one I wanted to play as uh, but didn't bother for some reason uh, uses, uses swords. Uh, so it would be interesting to see what this game is like, you know, from a melee standpoint. Uh, I could probably avoid this guy's attacks much better than I'm doing. There we go. There's all sorts of different, uh, all sorts of different items, and upgrades. I, I feel like there'd actually be a pretty deep game to get into here if I if I wanted to take the time to do it. I don't I don't want to take the time to do it. This is uh, sort of a joke download for me, and, uh, and I sort of got roped in a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of fun. Uh, behind me here. It's going to be shooting time. All right, and most full. I'm, I'm absolutely getting tired of uh, week after week there being no PlayStation VR games. Uh, although this is the last week. Um, the last week without any because uh, next week will be Resident Evil 7. Uh, and if, uh, if you're not looking forward to that, then I'm not sure why you even have VR. Where are they? Uh, play first-person shooters often, uh, unless there's something special about them. So games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, every year they certainly get past me. That's how I gotta do this real quick. This is, uh, I'm, like I said, since I'm playing in the, with the VR headset, uh, there seems to be some drifting issues, uh, which is, I think, why I don't use cinema mode more often. It just drifts quite a bit. 
and then I have to pull down the options button to, to reset everything. Pretty silly. Uh, it takes forever to reload in this game. I think that's something you can upgrade. So, I mean, all the stats seem pretty upgradable. All right, there's gonna be like one more dude hiding out here somewhere. Uh, well, where are you? I'll come. I'll come back. I, the game feels pretty easy, but I, I am pretty early on. Engaging enemy. Okay, engage enemy. Well, where are you? Engaging enemy. Mm -hmm. I get lost really easily uh, in these kind of games. Not sure why. Enemy. Where is the dude that keeps saying that? Enemy. Yeah, on the PlayStation Store, they talked about how great the graphics were in this, and I could totally get behind it if it was 60 frames a second and be like, yeah, the graphics are good for you know, maybe last gen or something. Um, But running, running this slow. Uh, just tell me what to do. Where am I supposed to go? Activate. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the game is. This game is actually pretty good at telling you where to go. Um, for the most part. So yeah, here's the arrow, it says follow. I gotta play some stupid mini game. We're gonna make the bottom line look like the top line. Uh, I feel like I've seen this in a hundred different games. There we go. <laughs> Things are never very difficult. Stop that. <laughs> uh, I'm like just embarrassed that like I'm doing that horribly. He's just just throwing these spikes so far. He's not even doing anything like real bad. Ah. Infuriating that I'm actually this bad at this game. Can you stop? Yeah. Let's get these guns up too. Ah. Uh, okay, that gun's useless. Alright, if I can get hit by one more of these, then I'll probably set some kind of frickin' record. Are you, like, getting his health back, or am I just that bad? I'm just that bad. Alright. There's not even any challenge here. I'm just being really dumb. Like, he's not walking fast. He's not doing anything except throwing these spikes. And for some reason... Still having issues. Yeah, I was thinking about reviewing this game, and then I realized, ah, oh, you'd be kidding me. 
Um, that I'd probably have to play the whole thing for that to happen. Uh, and I don't want to spend as much time as that would take. Yeah, and you know, when I, I do kind of want to reiterate that just because I don't play Call of Duty or Battlefield doesn't mean I'm not interested in them. Uh, they just, they just come out so quickly. There's like what, seemingly one every year, and uh, I just, I can't keep up. And I'm not interested in multiplayer. Uh, so really, he just threw that through a wall. Come on. I really don't like multiplayer. This is stupid. Alright, hold on a second. Items. I have items here. And I just use whatever they help me use, whatever. Get out of here. <laughs> That's how bad of this game I am. That every single time he throws a spike, it hits me. Yep. And you know what? Seemingly, it doesn't matter. So let's, eh, let's just hang out and see if we can't just take him down. See if it doesn't matter. Ah, what a waste. Time. Oh well, like I said, this game certainly could be a whole lot worse. It's, uh... It really cer certainly tries. There's, uh, there's so many places where you can, we can read, uh, just, I guess, about the lore of the game. Uh, it's not something I want to really spend more time with or get into. Uh, but, hey, you know, 13 bucks. <laughs> the the blatant ripoff of the Dead Space logo, though, is, is mind-boggling. I can't get over that one. So, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I thought it was going to be a throwaway game, and I've, uh, I've had some fun with it. It's certainly not the worst thing I've ever played. Um... But I am absolutely ready to move on. After we kill these guys. See, shooting zombies is always fun. I think that's where they nailed the formula with this. The loading screen sucks. The voice acting sucks. Killing zombies is always going to be fun. So that's it. All right, you guys. You guys have a great day, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and like videos and you know whatever it is you do on YouTube. Um, I'll definitely be bringing you more PlayStation VR stuff when it's available, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I uh, requested some time off from work to play Resident Evil 7, uh, so I can get some let's plays and reviews up as soon as that game arrives. Uh, I'm very excited to play that because that's what we're all looking forward to more than anything else. Alright you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.